No, it's not an anchovy. This is a type of parasite which we see in a condition called fasciola hepatica. It's gross enough that it is, but there's another very disturbing fact about it. Who can tell me where it's heading? No idea. These things like to make their home in the bile ducts. Let me explain, but I warn you, this is going to put you off watercress for life. By the way, I've released a brand new guide, Never Forget Differentials. It's crammed with frameworks to help you remember common presentations. Comment diagnosis and I'll send you some free pages. The life cycle of fasciola is complex with several hosts, but let's stick to the headlines. This organism is excreted in the feces of cattle, and the life cycle continues for those which are near bodies of water. They get gobbled up by a type of air-breathing snail, from the family called, now I'm probably going to butcher this, Limnaidae. Close enough. The larvae mature in the snail and are excreted in a form called saccharae. They release a cyst which may stick to surrounding vegetation. This is where the watercress comes in. Cysts may be guzzled up by cattle or us. We get them from infected water or aquatic plants. Those cysts go down our gullet and then into the duodenum. This is where they burst out of their surrounding cysts. They then beeline straight for our bile ducts. And they do that by migrating through the peritoneum, our liver, and in this case here, our bowels. They rest up and mature into adult flukes. When I say rest, they get pretty busy. They can pump out over 25,000 eggs a day, which we then excrete into our environment and this same disgusting messed up cycle happens over and over again. I've got another patient for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.